Hi, and welcome to the Estes Park News Weekend Report. I'm Chris Hazelton. Well, it's happened again. Many of you may remember our story from last February about Ken Collins, local Bigfoot investigator, who came to us with evidence of a possible Bigfoot in our area. Well, Ken is back with what he thinks is more proof of this mysterious creature. Last week, Ken was walking in the Spirit Mountain area doing what he loves best, going squatching, which means looking for evidence of Bigfoot, when he heard some strange noises right ahead of him. He looked towards the sound and snapped a photo as he tried to figure out what was making the sounds. What he saw was a very large, dark-colored creature lying flat on the ground, peering through the trees, looking right back at him. Ken was all alone on this venture and he admits he was a bit frightened and realized whatever this was was much larger than he is, so he decided to leave the area. When Ken got home, he looked at the digital images from his camera and he found that he had captured this photo of this creature. If you look very close, you can make out a snout or nose and two eyes underneath a very long forehead. Ken returned to the area the next day and while there he found some very large footprints which he made plaster casts of. This foot is over 12 inches long. Once again, Ken has contacted the Bigfoot Research Organization in Colorado Springs. BFRO is the organization which produces the Finding Bigfoot show. Hopefully, with the help of the research organization, Ken can begin to get some answers to this mystery. Stay tuned for more on this interesting story. The Cultural Arts Council is launching its first visual arts exhibition for 2014 this Friday at their first show, A Collection of Community Art, featuring 21 Estes Park area artists who will premiere their works. The gallery is located at 423 West Elkhorn Avenue in the West Park Shopping Center. The show will open with a public reception Friday night starting at 5 p.m. and will feature live music, refreshments, and hors d'oeuvres until 7 p.m. The show will remain on display through February 8th and there is no admission fee to view this art exhibit. For more information, call the Cultural Arts Council of Estes Park at 586-9203. Get out and enjoy Estes Park's newest event at the Winter Warm-Up Weekend. On Saturday and Sunday, family activities take place from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. near the ice skating rink off of Riverside Drive. Children and adults can enjoy face painting, pony rides, a s'mores bar, and more. Then, for the grown-ups, is the Whiskey Warm-Up Tasting Event Saturday afternoon in Riverside Plaza. Dress warm to sip on selections of Colorado whiskeys from a variety of local distilleries next to one of the fire pits while you listen to the sounds of the 1940s inspired band, The Hot Club of Pearl Street. Learn more about the styles, tastes, and smells of whiskey from the Stanley Hotel Whiskey University educators who will be presenting live seminars throughout the event as well as teaching Whiskey University classes throughout the weekend at the Stanley Hotel. Some local restaurants such as Smoke and Dave's Barbecue, The Grub Steak, and The Other Side Restaurant are offering whiskey pairing meals at their establishments. To wrap up the weekend on Monday, Rocky Mountain National Park celebrates Martin Luther King Jr. Day by offering free entrance into the park so families can enjoy snowshoeing, sledding, backcountry skiing, and wildlife watching. Don't miss all the fun to be had this weekend at the Whiskey Winter Warm-Up and Free Day in Rocky. For more details on any of this information, check out visitestespark.com. Rocky Mountain National Park turns 100 years old in 2015, and in honor of that, their new 2014 annual pass features the 100th anniversary logo and a pika, one of the park's most popular residents. This pass, which is now available, is a fun way to commemorate the park's centennial, which kicks off September 4th of this year. The annual pass can be purchased at any park entrance station and is a great deal. If you visit twice a year, it pays for itself, plus, 80% of these fees stay right here in Rocky Mountain National Park. For more information about Rocky Mountain National Park, you can contact the Information Office at 586-1206 or visit the park's website at nps.gov romo. This week, we leave you with a beautiful photo taken by local photographer Richard Hahn of a fluffy red fox in the snow. More great photos by Richard can be seen at alpenglowimages.info. The Denver Broncos take the field this Sunday against the New England Patriots. Winner of this game will go on to the Super Bowl. There are a lot of Broncos fans in Estes Park who are excited for this game, so we'll end this week with a hearty Go Broncos wish. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Hazelton, and we'll see you back here next week.